Well, hey there, everybody. How y'all doing? I hope everybody's having a wonderful day or night. And welcome back to my channel. As always, I'm Deluxe. All right, it's time to do another What's New in Transformers. Yeah. Love talking about new Transformers. I don't have them in hand. Just like to chit-chat and everything. So sit back, relax, grab your favorite beverage, get some popcorn, and let's just talk about some new Transformers. All right, all right, all right. And up first, as always, add-on kits, add-on kits, add-on kits for days. And I found this new uh, website, CybertronSurgery.com. And they are selling the uh, the mall, the replacement mall that match uh, the original what it's supposed to be been for the HasLab Unicron. You know, they did it blue and it's supposed to be orange. Well, they got you covered now. So there's a basic yellow print for $19 and a painted color match for $28. It is in Australian dollars and you can order through the site and everything. So just go to CybertronSurgery.com. You can also find other stuff like Transformers, other add-on kits and everything. It's a pretty cool website and everything. So go check it out. And if you want the uh, mall that was supposed to be been there, hey, here you go. They got you covered. So go to CybertronSurgery.com. It's in the description. All right. And it looks like DNA Designs is giving us some new guns. All right. For Titans Returns, uh, Fort Max, and then also Grand Max as well. So DK-03 Gearmaster is the one for uh, the uh, Fort Max. And then you got the DK-03G for the Grand Max, uh, which was the uh, you know overseas one and everything, the Takara uh, version. And you know, one is blue that goes for Fort Max, and the other one is red that goes to Grand Max. So that's pretty cool. So if you you know missed out and you think that you need a big old gun for uh, your Titan Returns uh, Fort Max or uh, Grand Max, here you go. DNA Designs has you covered as always. Good stuff, man. Boom, boom, pow, pow. All right. Well, not much stuff for add-on kits today, but let's move on to one of my favorite things, Legends News. And Magic Square is giving us a yellow die clone uh, Trailbreaker. This is MS-B09. This is the yellow model. Now, they did a blue one as well. It was pretty cool. And I just found out that uh, the black one's going for some pretty good money right now because I guess they sold out and a lot of people still want him. So maybe you can get this one and maybe paint it black if you're you know good at painting everything. So if you missed out on the original Trailbreaker, you can do that. But uh, I'm definitely going to get this. This one looks really good. I love the metallic blue windows. It looks like it's got a good paint. I love the head sculpt and with the silver and red eyes. So it looks pretty good. But yeah, I'm really excited. It looks like it's going to be out pretty soon because it's just a repaint or you know a you know a redo of the original one. So Magic Square Yellow Die Clone Trailbreaker MS-B09 is coming your way, man. Get those pre-orders. All right, come on now. And we got some new picks of Magic Square's MS-B12 Pillage, and we got B13 Contain. This is Dead End and Drag Strip. And man, I just got done reviewing the Motormaster, and it is freaking awesome. So I definitely cannot wait to get this two to finish off the set. And man, and move on to the uh, Constructicons will be next. But yeah, this set looks really good. I can't wait to get these. They look so much fun but yeah definitely go check out my review i did for motor master it was fun so yeah i can't wait for these two so you got pillage and contain this is dead dead end and jack strip and they should be coming out pretty soon because uh yeah i'm excited <laughs> that's it yeah and up next for legends news transform element has showed us some more pictures of their te-mm03 stinger warrior or stinger warrior this is their scorbronach and i'm so excited to get this thing man it should be coming out real soon i'm waiting for uh, chosen prime to get their orders in but looks really nice i do have the rat trap and the black rachne and they're both really fun and everything so i'm hoping they do a lot more they haven't shown anything else after scorpionox so but uh maybe they'll show us some you know maybe primal or megatron or you know somebody like wapsinator that'd be pretty cool but yeah that's so they're gonna bring out their stinger warrior and scorpionox should be coming out real soon so yeah be on the lookout for that review good stuff well, all right, folks, that's all we have for Legends. Let's move on to MP scale third party news. And we got some new images of Ocular Max. Uh, this is the uh, Stellaris Promenon. This is their Star Convoy. Uh, so it should be coming out pretty soon. Uh, they're showing a lot of pictures of them. So when they usually do that, that means he's ready to come out. So yeah, if anybody's got this on pre-order, uh, be on the lookout. He should be coming out. And a lot of, I know a lot of people like uh, Kato and Larkin's Lair and Inutabi and Sardo, they love some MMC. So they're really, really excited to get this guy so this is new images of their star convoy he doesn't look pretty bad he doesn't look that bad he's a huge he's pretty big i mean i didn't know he's gonna be that big but man looking pretty good so there you go new images of uh, ocular max mmc stellaris promenon and this is their star convoy then up next we have some comparison picks with x transpots ocular max with mmc uh groove comparisons and with also the g1 tune model so there's a little difference everything i just got 
the uh, fuzz from X Transbots, man, it's a pain in the butt to transform, but it's pretty cool. Uh, hopefully, I'll do a review of that pretty soon. But this is a little, uh, you know, G1 comparison with the uh, X Transbots and uh, MMC. And there you go. Whichever choice you're going with, I don't think you could lose. I mean, both of them look pretty good. I think I'll probably go in on both of them. I do definitely going in with the X Transbots, but I'm going to see about the MMC one. But there you go. We got some comparisons of Groove. And also from X Transpot, they showed us, you know, the 3D printing of their hotspot. This is our MX-34 Vanguard. Uh, this is showing that the ladder kind of disappears like they did with the uh, Inferno from Masterpiece. You know how they, you know, put the uh, ladder in the back of him. So it looks like they're doing that with hotspot as well. Uh, so it just says uh, ladder, one piece transformation stretching out. The function gimmick remains on the ladder. I don't know what that means, but yeah, it looks pretty good. So yeah, they're showing us uh, the hotspot. Uh, from uh, them and everything so yeah excited I'm so excited for this set like I said I just got fuzz not a fun transformation but it looks good in both modes I like it so there you go uh, they got a new gimmick for a uh, hotspot the ladder disappears all right then up next we have new stuff from Kang Toys and this is their racer claw which I don't think that's the third party name I don't know that's pretty you know you know wild if they did because you know that's the name of the original uh, racer claw but yeah they show some new 3d modeling kits or pictures of the lion and it looks pretty good it looks kind of zoidish a lot of people are saying that what it looks like and everything and he's real beefy my gosh look at that uh bot mode my lord he's got a lot of stuff going on in the back and everything but i'm just worried they have not shown any pics of the combined mode this is the fourth one they've already got three released already and they're showing their fourth one and i've only shown a silhouette of an older combined form so they haven't shown anything new and i'm getting kind of worried you know there's supposed to be six of them they're supposed to use primal as like a skirt or something I don't know so we'll see um you know i really love the three that we got and i'm you know i'm definitely probably gonna love this one as well but i'm just getting a little worried that they have not shown any combined picks so anyways there's king toys this is racer claw and it looks pretty good then we got some new images from Dreamstar Toys. This is a DT, I'm sorry, DST01 Slingshot or Slingshoot. They, they say Slingshoot, not Slingshot. Well, that's pretty cool. So this is their aerial bots and it looks so good. Oh my God, the combined form looks just beautiful. I can't wait to get these. Now they've been showing uh, a lot of pics of this stuff and everything, but I'm ready for this stuff to come out. It looks really nice. But yeah, this is their Dreamstar Toys. This is their aerial boss at Foreign Superion. This is Slingshoot. It's awesome. That's a cool name. But yeah, very nice. It looks good. I can't wait. Well, all right, folks, that's all we have for third-party MP scale news. Let's move on to official. And we got some new images of Yolo Park. This is the Optimus Prime from the Bumblebee movie. Now, this is a model kit. It does not transform, but my God, look at this thing. It is so detailed. It is nicely articulated. He can get in some great poses. Man, I can't wait to see what it looks like. You know, somebody paints it and everything. Oh, my goodness. Yeah, this looks really good. Uh, if you like model kits, this definitely would be something fun to, you know, build and everything. The fingers are articulated by itself. And, oh, it just looks really nice. I love the area, the abdomen area. The arms are really um, well sculpted and everything. So, yeah. Yolo Park is putting giving us a new model kit, Optimus Prime from the Bumblebee movie. And it looks fantastic so far. Mm goodness. Then up next we got some new images of Transformers Buzzworthy Bumblebee Power Charge Bumblebee. Golly Bumblebee Bumblebee Bumblebee. So this has got the new figure seems to be a re-release of the Bumblebee movie Power Charge Bumblebee from 2018. Oh my god how many times can I say Bumblebee? Uh, this is another unexpected release from the Buzzworthy Bumblebee sample line which consists of several just re you know redecos and repacks of Bumblebee and everything. So you know if you missed out on the original stuff from Bumblebee here you go you got a chance to get them back. Uh, uh, they do have them already in Target. Uh, this one's not been released, I don't think yet, but they do have some from the uh, Buzzworthy line. So, hey, there you go. If you missed out on Bumblebee, all right, there you go. <laughs> Golly, Bumblebee. Then I came across this pretty cool news right here, uh, or, you know, some old sketches and everything. Transformers, War of Cybertron, Siege, Power of the Primes, and BotBots, Aaron Gray comps that art. So that's pretty cool. So it looks like a BB Shockwave un uh, unearthed a treasure trove of images shared by the Hasbro concept designer Aaron Gray, ranging from characters in the Transformer Warp Cybertron, Siege, and Power of the Primes 
lines and bot bots as well. So you got Siege Optimus Prime Vehicle Exploration. Uh, you kick this back and forth with a talented Yuya Oshia of Takara Tommy, uh, Tomi. And a few times we end up moving forward with the sketches on the left side of the page. Way back in 2016, I had the honor of pitching a spinoff of Transformers IP uh, with the manager John Warden to Hasbro CEO Brian Goldner and the rest of the Hasbro senior management as part of our internal grand idea fair competition and everything. So they do show some other pictures of uh, Slash, uh, which was the uh, female, you know, a uh, little smaller Dinobot with Power of the Primes. Then they showed this red card, kind of looks like Sideswipe, I think it is, and that looks pretty sweet. It looks like it changes into like a boat or something like that or a snowmobile. Now that looks pretty cool. I love the sketches of that. Then you got Primal from Power of the Primes holding up the Matrix. That looks beautiful as well. Bot Bots, and you can see some of that stuff right there. And then you got Impactor and Mirage uh, fixing to duke it out and everything. So really nicely done. I love the sketches of the Prime and the Sideswipe. They all look pretty neat and everything. And the Slash looks all right. You know, it's fine. Uh, but yeah, this is a new concept air, uh, art from Aaron Gray that I don't, you know, looks pretty good. So there you go. So this is kind of new. This is an unexpected announcement. It seems that Takara Tommy will be back at, with improved decos on the releases. The small, small images show the movie accurate yellow studio series Bumblebee Deluxe Class, uh, the you know the beetle from the movie, and then a cartoon accurate Siege Voyager Optimus Prime featuring green windows with some battle damage and more details. Both will come in a closed box with the codes Generation PFGR-01 Optimus Prime and Studio Series PFSS-01 Bumblebee. So back in the day, they uh, Takara was on their own, and they would put out stuff that Hasbro would, but they would add on uh, extra paint and uh, you know better details and everything. And it was really nice, and I, was, I missed that. So I definitely probably in on the Optimus Prime. I love that Siege mode; it looks really good, and the green windows looks really nice. Uh, I may pass on the Bumblebee, but if they do some more like this, I'm definitely on board. So pretty cool stuff. So Premium Finish Collection is coming our way from Takara Tomy, and man, I love some good paint. So we got some new in-hand images of Transformers Kingdom Deluxe Class Scorponon. So this is a completely new mode, which is part of the Kingdom Wave 3 Deluxe Class. Uh, Scorponon finally gets an updated mode after so many years after the release of the first uh, Beast Wars Scorponon in 1996. So we have a pretty cartoon accurate robot mode and a realistic Scorpion mode. Scorpion features, uh, features his signature weapons inside his claws, his missiles, and Cyber B, and is a very original and fun transformation that hides the robot legs in the Scorpion tail and inside the body. Uh, we have comparison shots next to the rest of the Kingdom Beast Wars figures and those wandering scales and everything. So yeah, I'm excited for Scorponok. He, he kind of looks, you know, a little like he didn't miss, uh, he missed uh, leg day, but didn't miss chest day. Uh, but I, uh, I'm excited for this and I can't wait for them to come out. I'm, I'm ready for the rest of the Kingdom stuff to come out. So there you go, new pics of Scorponok. All right. And then we got some new images of Flames Toys Kurakari Kuri Victory Leo production sample and Victory Saber new images. My God, this thing looks really impressive. So this is the uh, Kura Kari Kuri line brings us official license non transferable action figures. And these are, oh, I have a couple of them and they're really good. Now they don't transform, they're really stylized. They got a punch of, you know, die cast paint just paint everywhere. Um, it's based on the alt mode as seen in the Transformers Victory cartoon with the highly stylized de designs. He comes with extra parts, cannons, and armor pieces to combine uh, to form Victory Saber. And man, this thing is impressive. A lot of detailed sculpt work. Yeah, really nicely done. Flames Toys does put out a great product. It is really expensive. You know, it's, it's, you know, I think this thing's probably around 500 maybe, I think, somewhere. I don't know, but it's really expensive. I had the Tarn, and he was up to about two or $300 by himself. So this one is huge, and it looks good. So there you go. New images of Flames Toys, Kurakura Curry. if I probably said that wrong, Victory Leo, and man, and also Victory Saber as well. Mm, good stuff, man. Good stuff. And the last bit of news is we got new images from Transformers Studio Series 86 movie Leader Class Slag. All right. So it looks like Crimson Reviews has always got already got this in hand and did a review of it. I watch it. You know, it's fine. Uh, but yeah, Slag is a completely new Leader Class mode, which brings us a fantastic new rendition of the classic G1 Dinobot featuring a cartoon accurate red face. 
slag. Uh, all, robot mode is pretty articulated, featuring several ratcheted points for stability. Uh, the rear uh, triceratops legs are hidden inside the robot legs for more uh, cartoon accuracy, but that's really awesome. I like that. Robot mode shows some kibble in the back where the triceratops legs are visible, but it doesn't look so bad. Uh, transformation is simple but fun, and the triceratops the Triceratops mode in compact with a weapon storage space in the tail. Uh, Slag does include Daniel with an exosuit, which is basically a retool of their wheelie from Grimlock. Uh, so, you know, it is it is what it is. Uh, so, and yeah, it looks really good. I'm excited. I can't wait. I, I'm definitely, hopefully, and excited that we get the um, new all of the Dinobots and everything because these look really great together. And man, Oh, to have a set of Dinobots like this is going to be really awesome. So there you go. New images of Studio Series Later Class Slag from the 86 movie. And man, it looks fantastic. Well, all right, folks. That's all we have for news today. I'm excited as always. We got some great stuff coming up. Man, I love the Legends Class Minosaur. Oh, that Scorponok looks good. The Trailbreaker looks good as well, the yellow version. And man, oh, that slag looks so awesome. And so does that yellow park Optimus Prime. So yeah, hit me up with some likes, shares, prayers, and care bears. Go down and hit that sub button for me if you don't mind. It helps out the channel. And hit me up with some comments. Tell me what you're excited about, if you're excited for any of this stuff. And I guess I'll see you on the next What's New in Transformers. As always, be good to yourself. Hail Hasbro, and good night, folks.